The owner of Canton's Boathouse Restaurant says a formal, formal federal request of employment and immigration records was all it took for more than 30 employees to leave and never come back. He says they're frightened for themselves and their families. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in Canton to tell us what happened and whether it's part of a larger immigration crackdown. Mike? That's what we're told, Jessica, and the boathouse owner insists that everything is on the up and up. He says his workers paid taxes. The problem started last Thursday when he got the request and it sent a number of workers scrambling. The owner of one of Canton's most popular waterfront restaurants, the Boathouse, says more than 30 immigrant workers left in fear after the Department of Homeland Security hand delivered a letter demanding documentation of their immigration status. That stunned customers here. It seems like terrorizing people who are trying to work at a restaurant and it's not only bad for the, the, the business, it's bad for the families. If that many people left, is there something, are they doing something and not following the, the, the policy? Are they not doing it uh, the way they should be doing it? Owner Gene Singleton insists his business is in compliance with immigration law. He posted this letter online, writing the government's targeting the Hispanic community properly documented and potentially less than properly documented are all fearful of being separated from their families, many with small children, and many went home to pack up and leave. He declined to speak on camera, but Boathouse customer oh, Roman, a first-generation Mexican-American, sees no problem with but, immigration uh, officials checking you know, workers' status. We just got to make sure that everybody is playing by the same rules. WJZ has learned the Boathouse was not the only business targeted. ICE won't confirm nor deny any ongoing investigations in Baltimore, but the Trump administration has increasingly been cracking down. Restoring a lawful system of immigration one that we as a great nation can be proud of. Immigration officers are now forcing out undocumented immigrants without criminal records, fast-tracking almost a million nationwide for deportation. As soon as more agents and more money is spent focusing on the expedited removal process, we'll see the check-ins happen with shorter time. Friends of my client saying, hey, I have to check in, and my friend checked in, and then she just got arrested, and she's gone now. The boathouse owner says he has until tomorrow to turn over all those records, including the addresses of his workers. Live in Canton, Mike Halgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. The boathouse owner is trying to raise money for his former employees. He says he'll announce more about the fundraising effort later this week.